Hey guys, thanks for watching my video. Don't forget to like it. Whenever you like this video, you're contributing to entire coding community by helping everyone discover short, useful tutorials. Now, one of the best VS Code extensions for JavaScript developers is called JavaScript ES6 Code Snippets. I can't stress this enough how much more efficient you will become as a developer in general if you install and start using the JavaScript Snippets extension for Visual Studio Code. And it's not because of this extension itself, but the fact that it teaches you to develop a new habit for using also the built-in VS Code snippets that come by default. So guys, first thing you want to do is go to your extensions button in VS Code and start typing JavaScript code snippets. Now go ahead and click on the first search result and click on the install button. Now this extension can be used for several things, JavaScript, TypeScript, React, JavaScript, TypeScript and React with TSX extension, HTML and the Vue framework. So how do we actually use the snippets? So basically you start typing a trigger and a trigger is an abbreviation like FRE. For example, if you type FRE and press tab key directly in your source code, this extension will paste the for each loop pattern at your current cursor position. So let's say we have this JavaScript array. Normally you would start typing array dot for each and you would complete that entire JavaScript statement by typing it all out by hand. Instead, you're going to start typing FRE, then press the tab key. Now, as soon as you hit the tab key, the snippet will paste at that place in your source code. Now, from here, you can start typing your own code into the body of your for each loop. The snippet extension also gives you the FOF trigger for creating for of loop, and also FIN for creating a for in loop. Now, one of the best other triggers is the prom tab. The prom trigger is going to paste a JavaScript promise. So if we type prom and hit the tab key, you're going to see the promise pattern inserted into your code. In addition to that, there's also then C tab trigger. And the way you use it is you place your cursor at the end of your promise and delete the last semicolon Start typing then C and hit tab. Doing this will insert the entire then catch structure to the bottom of your promise. Now, for the full list of snippets, you can go back to extensions, the extension page, and just browse around and see if there's any triggers you can use to save time coding and increase your productivity. Now, VS Code also has its own built-in snippets. So here, for example, I'm going to start typing for just as a simple example, I'm going to select for in JavaScript loop by clicking on it. Now, the cool thing about this is that VS Code is going to automatically insert multiple cursors around your key item. So you can type and retype it in multiple places at the same time as soon as you insert this snippet. And to be honest, it's the features like these that make VS Code is one of the best IDEs out there. And here, Visual Studio Code is also going to suggest a best practice as well. Now, the for off loop is a little different, but basically the idea is the same. So guys, just use the default VS Code snippets together in combination with the ES6 JavaScript code snippet extension. If this tutorial helped you in any way, please post a comment, like the video, or subscribe to my channel. The YouTube algorithm really responds to that. And so having said that, when you like the video, you're actually contributing to online coding community.